out to the sky. Recording to the cloud, Liam. Liam, you're more on. afraid. Or more afraid of five G or the cloud. Oh, oh, hey everybody! Uh, welcome back to the Worcester County Murders. Uh, this is episode ten. Um, one of the hosts, uh, Liam Marr. Tenth alongside. episode special. Good. There he is, Kevin Knightley, uh, and most importantly, uh, our uh, incredible, uh, uh, lovable um, Get on Kevin. Adjectives, give me some. Come on. Um, janitorial, mm. uh, mm-hmm. likable. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Um, I, I like that. One. It's our, Jimmy our, Cash. It's Jimmy Cash, our yeah. first guest. Yeah. God, this is great. That's great. <laughs> how how <laughs> you doing? I'm 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 doing great, man. I'm hanging in. I'm in, I'm in my studio. Yeah, it looks dope, dude. Yeah, you know? yeah, it's not uh, bad. How's the album going? Oh, it's good. It's like it's like uh, I don't know You're if you ever watched documentary when Red Hot Chili Peppers recorded uh, "Blood Sugar Sex Magic" up in that mansion in Hollywood. Did you ever see uh, I that? Haven't, I haven't seen that no. one. I've heard I've heard the album though. That's what it's like. It's that's all right. So that's where we're getting. All right, cool. Are you I'm, recording a rock album? <laughs> it's it, it's it's I, I, don't put them in a box, bro. It's yeah. whatever he wants it to be. Wherever you are right now, it looks like you broke into there. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it feels like it. I'm. Uh, <laughs> I've been living at the school for, for throughout the quarantine. Well, so. It is a true crime podcast, so that that works. Yeah, that's awesome. It's usually so, us just selling guns on here, doing grimes. Yeah. But I, dude, I got it. We said it before we started recording, but. You got it. I can't not. Can I not point out that Liam is in Aspen in a lodge? In yeah, a- dude, look at that I, fucking uh, lamp. It's a ball of billiards lamp. That uh, a- yeah. It's it's <laughs> Wait, uh, it's well, it's quite it's quite at? nice. It's very comfortable. Uh, a long cabin, uh, <laughs> isolated uh, in the woods. Like, uh, are you familiar with the works of uh, Walt Walden or Waldo Emerson? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm doing kind of like that, but with podcasting, because I wow. don't really like. I I don't have the I'm I don't have the patience to write everything down. That's, did you yeah. hunt and maim that deer behind your head? Oh well, it was actually hunting me. I, I would never have started something that I will finish it. Not on an animal of that size. No, no, no. It had a family. It was watching the whole time. <laughs> I wouldn't but, have stopped uh, something. <laughs> I was just out in the woods alone, having a good time, and it got too close. It started making some weird noises, and I don't know. It all just went red to me, and there we there we have it. You know? Wow. Yeah. Right. Good times. That's awesome, man. Yeah. yeah. It's like you're about to get stuck in a blizzard, and then you and like three friends are gonna have to choose who dies. I feel like I've been stuck in a blizzard for years, man. You know? Yeah. In my nose. Oh, I mean, I just, I just, I just meant like, I don't know what the hell I meant. Jimmy, you're a guest, you know. Yeah. I got, I got some oh, questions. Dude, some our first guest. Holy I'm shit. I'm the first guest? Yeah. Yeah. Damn, I'm sorry. I should have been more presentable. I, I, I apologize. Oh, I think this is a good representation of what you look like. Yeah. I'm just mad I don't have a, like a ring light or something set up. <laughs> Do you, what what do you i don't know do why you, i would seeing you with a ring light is such a funny idea to me <laughs> uh, uh, how's my lighting i feel like i'm too white it's a background yeah, it like you said you i'm really like in a bath yeah kevin's definitely in a bath in a ho- he's like at the hilton downtown what's the a nice hotel well yeah not that one <laughs> <laughs> I know oh. some the, I'm trapping. Uh, I'm actually selling drugs. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting thing to just say. Well, that's kind of true crime, right? What is it without true crime? J- uh, uh, Jimmy, wh- where do you currently uh, stand on the, the whole uh, pandemic? Where do I stand what on it? What kind of question is that, dude? Like, yeah, that's... A- <laughs> no, it's interesting. Uh, that's very loaded. Do you mean? Do you mean like? Do I believe in it? It sounds like. Where do I stand? Like. Wh- well, now up? it sounds like to me you don't believe in it. So maybe that should be the road we go down. Well, I think what he means is, are you a patriot? 
Yeah. I believe in it. I think it's the best thing that could have happened. Ooh. Uh, so, so. Hottest of takes. Hottest of takes. Do you think it was a good thing? Yeah. Why not? I think it got everyone, you know, got everybody a stimulus check at least. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good point. Yeah. Maybe you know? um yeah, do you do you um do you do you wish it was worse? Like, are you happy with the level of pandemic we've had? It, here's honestly my stance, like right now, is once it all clears up, I just want everything Never. to stay to stay hybrid. Yeah, I, I yeah. think a lot of companies are going to do that. Overhead expenses is just stupid. Like to it's, some of these companies now, are like, why yeah. would we ever like hang out with these children in person? Right. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Being at yes. home, I just get fat though. Uh, I don't get any sunlight, and that means you're. That's you know. It used the to be company's a sign fault. of wealth when people, you know, you know, like very rich people were very fat, and it was because they got to eat all the time. Now, and now so, it's like the opposite. Yeah, no, you get fed really cheap, terrible shit. You have money, you get good prescription drugs, you stay skinny. You don't, you don't, you don't get hungry. Because right. of the the expensive prescription pills. Well, and you get personal I, trainers and all that. Yeah, you get put on NSAIDs. I, and uh, I, you I, don't I eat. You don't eat. You don't sleep either. No. But at least you're not depressed. You guys That's... ever um, work out ever? I'm trying to. I took a fucking jujitsu class, dude. I meant at any the other point day. in your entire life. You guys are. That was the least... first time I worked out was a one jujitsu class. Oh my Jimmy? god! Uh, have, do I work out? No, just any. I'm not. You know, we don't need a breakdown. I'm just. It's a. It's more of a philosophical. I mean, when you look at me, what'd you what'd you say, <laughs> Jimmy? I'm like movie. I'm looking at a movie star, and I, I'm lucky. I don't have a girlfriend with me right now. Yeah. That's, that's that's what that's what I see. That's what I think. Pretty much. No, I've yeah. worked out over the years, on and off, like like. I, it's it's such a shame i've gone really hard at it at different times and then i fall off really hard and i never uh i've never passed like i've never went into the region of like having like a ripped physique i've always gotten to the brink of it and then i just go right back to softness you know and i think that it's cuz you're 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 a brave man and you know anyone that really pushes themselves to get really big that they're afraid of something you know that's true that's and that's true. all that's all it's got to be the reason why i, like... I bring it up sorry go, no, go ahead no no you you go sorry. okay well we had just mentioned personal trainers and i i had like a very vivid flashback in my head uh play uh, i was i was at a gym it was a, it was a public gym you know You're molested I paid, by a trainer uh subscription no 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 though that doesn't happen in real life dude uh <laughs> i think that's pretty <laughs> reckless of you to say liam <laughs> i think there's layers to it you can interpret it however you want i don't i say things for effect and i never mean any ill will but uh point being uh i was i didn't really read on how to like lift weights or anything i was just kind of like doing how i thought it would work and i would have this guy come up to me and tell me uh my form was all wrong but i, I think it was just because he wanted to talk to somebody and i was wondering if you guys have you know because you mentioned personal trainers have you ever been critiqued by a fellow uh working out person and how humiliating that is of an experience has that ever happened to you guys because that happened oh, yeah. to me i think about oh, it all yeah. time yeah it's so embarrassing dude it's more yeah. embarrassing almost too that like you said you didn't read before you went to the <laughs> Like, like you gotta, like let me get a weightlifting book out of the library and, and read up before I go. To uh, the I'm, I'm what's called an overthinker, Jimmy. I, I uh... what is this weightlifting? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't um, understand why, like some of the numbers were bigger on some of them. I didn't, yeah. I didn't, I couldn't figure it out that it meant like. I don't know. I fell off. I fell off with it too, Jimmy. No, that's, that's, that's all, no. I relate, Liam. I, that happened to me, dude. Like at and at, at Kevin, Fitness. Jimmy is such a nice guy that he's making up a story right now. 
to uh, make oh, well, we appreciate it, man. <laughs> Jimmy. Go. Uh, uh, no, I've had yeah. people tell me at, at plant and, and to be corrected at Planet Fitness is like probably the worst. It's a low, you know. Man. It's a low blow, you know. But like a rando you. will just come up to you and be like, you're doing this wrong. Yeah, because these people have nothing yeah. besides their bodies. And they think other people should care as much. Yeah. We don't. Right. We know you're afraid. We know you're afraid. People are yeah. doing that to me at the jujitsu class. They come up and like grab grab my balls and my leg and be like, hey, wrap that around that dude's neck like this. Pretty you know, ballsy to like, pick up jujitsu. Uh, like, yeah, 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 I'm trying to, I'm trying to take a hold of my life, dude. <laughs> no. Yeah, All well, right. to be honest, I'm more, I'm more worried about spreading athlete's foot there than I am COVID. <laughs> that is, that happens all the time. Um, yeah. Also, staff. Uh, staff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I watched House. I also, you know, there, there's one girl in the class, and and so you're supposed to switch partners and stuff. And I, 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 I wanted to. I was, I was, it was a complicated issue to, uh, going, to, to roll with, well, I'll tell you where it's going. It, uh, one, on one side, you want to, you know, you know, treat her like everybody else and be like, yeah, I'll partner up with you. On another end, you'll be like, well, I don't want to be like grabbing you and, you know, digging your elbow into my ball sack on the um, arm bar. So sure. Does, she's thrilled. Is your girlfriend? Are you still with your girlfriend, Kevin? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now, no, yeah, no. And, and fu- funny enough, she's Brazilian, and I'm and I'm taking up. I don't know. I thought there was something there, but well, yes, we're together. Oh, well, jujitsu. We're not, hanging I'm not gonna, in there. Kevin, I'm not going to do your <laughs> jokes, but you better you better learn Brazilian jiu-jitsu before you go back to Brazil, because I'm sure they're waiting to kick your ass. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah. if my fucking jokes could reach down there, I, that that'd be enough. It'd be worth. It'd be worth it. To be you should to become death by a bunch of fucking Chiagos and doing <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you should um I become. I don't know what that word means. I've never heard it before. Uh, it, no, it's a name. You fucking you uncultured swine. Oh, clearly, but I was going to say you should go there and become the best american brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter the world has I ever know. seen i think there's a lot of really good ones already i'd have See, a lot it's a, it's know, a well, long it's a long climb you don't you believe know. in yourself uh i do an extent you know jimmy do you think kevin believes in himself i think he has too much confidence for one class <laughs> what do you mean i i fucking i can i can i can break your arm like i one I class can break, I can your arm. break your arm. i get you on the ground i'll fucking break your arm Kevin, besides you, that, uh, I got to take more classes. Yeah. Yeah. For episode Go, I'm 20. going back tomorrow. Nice. For episode 20, could you break my arm on the pod? <laughs> you just want to do it for the pain pills, anyways. For 50, uh, sub- no, 50 subscribers special. That's what we'll do. We'll break my fucking arm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We should go camera. buy subs instead of episodes. Don't do it. It's a, it's a trap. Don't you yeah. your, your, head, your head's going to end up next to that deer on the wall, Kevin. It's a good, it's a good look. Yeah. It's amongst, you know, other great stories. I'd, ha- I'd have a great story about you. I'd have a great story about the deer. Yeah. I don't you know. know. I'm a is there, does that deer have a oh, yeah, you, family? You said it had a family. Yeah, family. yeah. I didn't touch them. They they weren't causing shit. You can't, you know, harm the kids. Now is that is that a is that a buck? I can't see does it have horns it. or is it like a doe, like a female? You gotta take off. I believe I believe it's a buck. <laughs> you had to look. Yeah, I don't, you know. I don't remember. I don't. I. Okay. I've done. I just do. I do this type of thing all the time. <laughs> <laughs> like you was gonna see, see if its genitals were still intact. No, it's the no, horns, you, you dummy. Jimmy, I, I don't know if you can oh. tell. The gen, there's no genitals on those, unfortunately. You can pay extra, and I did keep them, but they're not on the wall. That's not where I would keep them. Keep them in a glass jar. Can I just? I, this is. Can I just ask? There better be a, a billiards table under that weird glass thing you got behind but that's what the light's for what this is a poker table that you're on right now okay cool oh that's cool that's like probably the second thing you put under that light it's for a pool table though (laughs) (laughs) yeah pool is fun i like i like pool you guys play pool i do yeah I, i wear a bathing suit every time i play 
Oh man. Yeah, it's gross. That's weird. It's is it weird? Well, I, it's weird. I mean, like, what do you, do you have a pool table? No, oh, I go know. out to like pool halls and shit. I'm wearing a bathing suit. <laughs> wow. Is that a, I, uh, yeah. Yeah. Does that make you think? Yeah, as long as you're wearing shoes, I think it's fine. It's most yeah. of my social life. And you got to keep one foot on the table. I've heard heard that's a rule. Yep. Oh yeah. yeah. If you got those, those hard to those hard to reach shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh. No, I got another question. <clears throat> Liam's very formal. It's fucking lame. Uh, I'm love trying to be the next uh, what fucking Walter Cronkite, you know, and talk about how the Vietnam War is bad um, and shit. That's been uh, settled. Jimmy. Recently, you uh, received attention on uh, TikTok. You've become what is called a TikTok star. <laughs> Please share a clip of us on your TikTok. Uh, no, do not. Kevin, you're a weak man. Jimmy, uh, what is what is that like? What is what is what is, what is it? What is <laughs> what, what is what is what TikTok being TikTok yeah, like, fame, what, bro. What, what are the parties like? Like, what are the uh, what are the people like? I, I know the club is, I hear, very elusive and always on the move. Yeah, well, I uh, I haven't got a phone call from anybody in the TikTok community yet, what but the fuck? I've made. Four hundred dollars total. Yo, wow. cheer, Kevin, clap for that shit. Come yeah, on. Yeah, that's oh. the that's oh, more money than I've ever made shit. from any of this. You hear that, everybody? We're fucking. Yep. That's really cool, Jimmy. Yeah, I so bet I, less than one percent of people on TikTok have made that amount of money. You are yeah. a one uh, percenter, I would imagine, on that. Yeah. How, did, how did that the viral, the really viral one with the the first? I don't know. Was it the second paper towels that got on a yeah. bar stool? Yes. How did they reach out or did they just steal it from you? No, they reached out. So it went, cool. it had already like, inst- that one for some reason instantly on TikTok just took off. Well, super like, fucking relatable, boom. dude. That's, That's what it was. Funny stuff, you, you, you. So humble. I think, I, yeah, but I think they had, so I think. Share Barstool, us on your TikTok. Barstool must have someone just scanning, you know, viral shit, obviously. So they, they, they slid in that instagram dms Whoa. and they said Whoa. hey they go can we share this viral video on from your tiktok on our instagram page and i said yeah and they were like all right you got to sign this form to say wow. you'll let it if you sell the video what? you have to let us know so we'll take it down something like okay. that oh would no, the, would the, they're not gonna like take any of the money that you would make from the video or if or is it, they just it, legally have to take it down if you make money off it? Well, to them, it just gets clicks on their it, website. Yeah. 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 So, like, they, they're just – they're being good about it. Like, I had this one guy I found out that stole it. And it's just shitty because, mm. like, he's the – his – He's kind of like a, a public personality. His name is. Give us a fucking name, dude. Jimmy, I'll do it. I'll do it. I have nothing else. Uh, oh, yeah. Can we blast him on here? What was it like a collab? Abs- or, or Absolutely. Or, or, or. No. This should have been where we started. No. His name is the license plate guy. Uh, and he's known as a famous uh, New York Giants fan. Oh and he's God. got like. Oh, wow. They don't make those. Yeah. He's a big I bet idiot. But he's the only one of those. Yeah. He's a big idiot. And he cropped my name out of the video. Because your, wow. name, your, your name's super That's crossed the line. Yeah. You guys got to go out of your way. Watermark. Yo, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start. I'm going to DM this guy every night. Fucking until license he plate guy is the name. Yeah. On Facebook, Joe. Ru- and On he got Facebook? Like, dude, what are, he got like are you million... doxing this dude now? Yeah. Fucking he deserves wife and kids to be live at 13 Maple Avenue. He's a comic <laughs> thief. He's a, com- he's a thief. He's a thief. He's a thief. Well, he goes, he goes, as a teacher, I relate to this. Ha ha ha. And he got like millions of views and shares and shit. So I message him. I'm like, like, dude, like as a teacher, you're sharing this, but like, isn't that like, do you also teach plagiarism too, bro? Like give credit to yeah. the, to the no. right. That's a classic no. example of, of teachers punching down on janitors. <laughs> yeah. <Fucking bullshit. laughs> Jimmy, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to, I'm going to do something about, about that person. Uh, yeah. Whether it's. Send them the deer head. With like I'll, the genitals. I'll send him one of the balls. <laughs> Dude, yeah, he you needs can't... to. You got to put him in an arm bar, Kevin. Yeah, I'll break that bitch's. Yeah, arm. Yeah, break his arm, dude. Let's break his arm. 
Is Jimmy, he, I've uh, had a oh, sorry. Well, oh no, I, I was going to ask how big is he, but I guess it doesn't matter in jujitsu. So, um, plus, you know, I'm an athletic specimen and probably the likes that this guy has never seen before. And I, I doubt he uh, knows any martial arts whatsoever uh, based on your narrative, Jimmy. No, he definitely doesn't. But I think he's big. You're going to have to take him down. You've got to look him up, dude. This guy, he's like a, he's a, he looks like he used to be a linebacker for the Giants or something. So you're going to have to go low, hit him at the ankles, get him down, you know? Yeah. Get him on the ground. That's the idea. Yeah. Jimmy, do you um, want to be here right now? Or do you just feel obligated to uh, keep up your nice guy reputation? No, dude. I don't want to be here at all. Oh, Liam doesn't want to be here either. <laughs> no. he, just, he just fucking dropped from the chat. No, dude, I want to. I um, honestly though, I miss you guys. I haven't seen you or Liam in like a year. So and yeah, I know him all the time. So I saw Liam like two months ago. He's he's, you know, he believes the virus is real and everything. So he he only wants to like hang out outside. So you know, we'll go on walks together and uh, hold hands. But, uh, you know, we, we, we can't do the podcast live because, right. um, I don't know, he's just scared. Yeah. Well, Are we gonna ca- hopefully he comes back. When, he's uh, very sick. He's very sickly. So I, I, I'm not, I'm yeah. not surprised. <laughs> yeah. Well, the doctor, I, I got some news a few weeks ago. Of, the doctor suggested that, uh, you know, I try something that people call uh, not being a total pig, which is, uh, it's been working out, you know, I, I quit drinking beer indefinitely and I'm just drinking seltzer now. So I'm, nice. I'm just rocking the seltzers. Yeah. Cranberry lime. Yeah. We were talking about that. It's like pounding, it's like pounding beers without yeah. the consequences. Yeah. And it's got some bite, a little bit of pain, a little, a little bit bite. of pain is good. You need that. Yeah. Um, otherwise you just end up go into a dark place you know so you isn't need that some, funny you need, you need the good pain do you like spicy food too that kind of pain yeah yeah but not too crazy i don't get crazy not crazy it. but enough to yeah give you a little just a little just kick get, in the uh, get, get you going what is get you doing? Going. yeah make you feel alive dude I, he must be he must be setting up the card table or something i don't know what is this podcast about? It's called What's the County yeah, well, Murder? Well, yes, it's a true crime podcast. Uh, Liam texted me, said his power went out. <laughs> his power went out? Yeah. Dude, he really is in the mountains or something, is it? What is that? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was a bit. I don't know. Have you se- Is that where he usually shoots from? No, that's a new room. That's a, so he that's just suspicious. introduced that room today. He usually, that suspicious. yeah, at least that Dude, angle. He, I never saw that lamp in the deer head. <laughs> he looks like he's in an, like an eighties, uh, like um, Rambo type of movie. You know what I mean? Or like Roadhouse. You yeah, know, you should you put know, a bandaid over it, or a uh, bandana on. I'm gonna text him. Get you know, call in on your phone, and then wrap your head in like a, in a, in a, like a long tube sock, a black one. So he's going to call in from his phone. I don't know. <laughs> he just said the power went out. It was very cryptic. I don't know what, what uh, the power, the power went out. That could be code for something horrible that happened. That was, had nothing to do with electricity. Um, it's awful. It's probably Joe rubric, the license plate guy. Probably sabotaging us. Yeah. That fucking fat fuck. We're going to get... Liam's going to try. I got to send him the ID and shit. All right. Yeah. So what'd you, uh, what'd you think of... Um, what'd, you, what'd you think of, of uh, me and Liam the first time you saw us at an open mic? And don't 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 hold back. Okay. Because I've seen some open micers that I, I eventually liked and that, like, yeah, you know, no, not yeah. that I've been doing it very long at all, but they, oh, they like get better and I like them better. Yeah. And it's not like you don't have to not like somebody because they're not 
you say, are you right. saying there's like there's people that just are not funny but they're like like a good person and they're cool yes and that's what i thought of you guys when you first <laughs> <laughs> yeah because i was I, said, I was terrible at first man i think it took six months before no no i like i think you were you something were out. i think you came out swinging i like i came you, out right? hard i because i you you join you start going to the mics and like i thought like oh I, everybody can just like this it works one way and like i can just like fucking you know make gay jokes and stuff like that it's gonna yeah, be cool yeah. and then like it's not really like that <laughs> like <laughs> you have to like do it in a it's more of an art form it's yeah. uh you can't just be like oh yeah that's fucking gay and uh get away right. with that and be funny so it's uh it's a learning curve some people it's funny to see the people who after like a year and a half are still doing the same shit haven't figured it out yeah um no it was good when you first came i knew i liked you i i did yeah you were definitely a little edgy but i was like this kid's cool but uh there's a lot of people that come in and you're like oh and they just don't go away yeah you know you and Liam came in pretty, pretty around much. the same time. Well, I I was living in Brighton the first time I I did an open mic and I did one there, and um, they I bombed really really hard like three times and then had a decent one and then I moved like to the Worcester area and started hitting that circuit like January 2018 I think or 2019, and that's when I met the. Uh, the Liam guy. Well, that, that's where I remember. The first time I think I can remember seeing you was at Nick's. And you had a joke about the bathroom. Something about going to the bathroom. Can't remember exactly. Oh, when I, you're like, when you, yeah, I, I did one where you scoot up on the toilet and to wipe your ass and like your dick touches the rim of the yeah. toilet. Yeah. Which I think is, that's a funny premise, dude. Like, I yeah. fucking hate that. What are you going to do? Like, I think yeah. the punchline was like, I got it, like you have to like chop it off at that point or something yeah. stupid. I don't know. Hold on, Liam's something texting like me a bunch of shit. So I gotta send him a link. Do we edit? Do you chop like? I don't want to. I'm I'm down to just leave this all in. Oh, okay, I didn't know. I don't care. I, whatever you, you know, I didn't know. Yeah, hold on. We should probably chill for a second until we get Liam back. I literally just stopped recording. I was like, let's get Liam on. You call and you say, hey, man, I'm going to call you from my car. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck, why wasn't I recording? Dude, I'm sorry. We clearly lost power. I don't know you why the fuck? Me. You really are up there in the mountains. It kind of is, bro. It's all Trump country and shit. Like... Hell yeah. Dude, Liam has a Trump flag on the front of his house. That's not a joke. <laughs> Yeah, you got to blend in. All right, well, call us back from the car. What do you need from me? Oh, well, okay, I can't. I, I, didn't, I thought you said you stopped recording. I've been like, well, I started recording again because it was funny. Oh, you, you, yeah. oh, my God. I wasn't, I wasn't All right, prepared. just get back on here. I'm gonna... All right, we, Liam, Liam's back. Tell us what, what the fuck just happened, dude. Uh, the power went out. I think uh, a number of insurrectionists have seized the uh, local Capitol building and have cut off the national grid. This is why I've been saying people should go solar for, for years, have their own supply, you know. But uh, fortunately, I was able to step outside and, you know, my neighbors, they had an, uh, uh, a car unlocked for me to use as a studio. And here oh, we are. That's nice of them. Well, I'm, I'm glad we can we we, we we got you back on. We we went for a bit without you, but uh, then it, it got awkward. So, no way. No. <laughs> but um, yeah. What did I? Uh, I asked Jimmy. I asked Jimmy. What, what did he think about me and you when we first? Oh, uh, good, I, good, good. Yeah. Great. What, 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 you, do what Liam now. Do Liam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, be, Don't yeah. hold back. Be. <laughs> Ruthless, bro. I, for, Do not I forgot back. what I said about you. No, I said there's people that you you don't like because because you don't not like them. 
Okay, when someone first comes around, sometimes you just don't like them. Not because they suck. You just, you don't like them. But when you guys came on, you were very likable at first. But just not funny. Even though, even though, yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. And likable no, at first implies we're not likable anymore. We got old. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was novel, and then it wore it off. Novel. The honeymoon yeah, phase yeah. was over, and uh, these guys are just we're just dead weight, Jimmy. Yeah, I have a I have a Jimmy Cash tattoo. Can we see it? Where is it? Absolutely not. Oh, it's in one of those tattoos. No, it was a mistake. Wow, uh, you're gonna say that to his face? I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna switch it to. I'm gonna make it say Johnny now. <laughs> Yeah. Stop asking questions and like yeah, oh, he's he just probably the most comes around. I love it. He does. Um, he doesn't open for Bob Marley, but he is the more famous Cash. Have you already asked him about Bob Marley and what, what's that like? No, no, no. I, I, when you first started opening for him, I was like, holy shit, that was the first. He had the first comedy album I ever listened to when I was like eleven or twelve. It was like I don't, I, I, I don't know what it was called. But he has like a lot of albums, right? Tons, tons but of. Uh, there's a yeah. bit about like drinking in the woods, and like um, he ha- he has a bit where he's like, he comes home drunk, and his mom's like, like, oh, you're fucking wasted, and he's like, he's like, no, they 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 spilled them on me, and fourteen of them went down my throat. <laughs> that, that 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 was classic, Bob. Oh, he's yeah. like a local legend so that's pretty cool that you're uh that you've been opening for him yeah he's a especially huge. during this you know time. Him as robert the, the what so do, do you get to call him robert marley i uh i haven't called him robert i call him you can, okay you call him bobby bobby uh, that's bobby. pretty that's pretty casual that's dude that's more. like texting on a daily pretty, type yeah. of nickname we we don't text i don't have his phone number but... <laughs> damn bro you'll get there one day yeah i i text he, he doesn't even know who jimmy cash is he really barely <laughs> he barely knows me he's uh that's too bad quite the performer though that guy will go up there and kill for an hour and 20 minutes straight no yeah i'd like to see him. I, th- I think he has the record for the like the longest stand-up set and it was like 24 hours long or something it was like 40 hours yeah dude yeah you... yeah but someone be, someone beat someone did longer than that recently but yeah but was it like, funny I, I can't imagine that I wonder where he did that 40 hours of stand-up I know what is <laughs> what the fuck his that's house his no house. is that a club I think damn dude that's like real respect to the demands the theater of a place or whatever you know it's being shown in for over a day do you think he uh like took um you know took something to keep him going to not get tired probably just good hydration bro yeah that's it not making excuses yeah probably just eats right and yeah exercises practices his writing yeah he's a big skier yeah. oh yeah well you gotta be when you, if you're, if you're from maine dude skiers. you gotta yeah. find a way not to think about suicide when you live I in a place cocaine. like that oh <laughs> oh so you've oh, done coke with bob marley he's in the slopes i get it yeah yeah does he do uh just baby lines or fat gaggers uh yeah, how, never, how, how, how close are you? Can you not tell us this right now, or put it this way? I, I he doesn't share, so I don't I don't know. I don't see. Wow. Well, well, fuck, that's a yeah, cool answer. I forgot he doesn't really like you. It's about as cool of an answer <laughs> as you can get. <laughs> Jimmy, hold on. We were just you know I I, I don't mean to tra- tra- you know bring up old wounds or, or anything like that, but um, Ugh. what made you think of uh, of Gogur? What made you like? What made you think of Gogur? And uh, uh, why haven't I been able to finish? No, this is an inside thing. Not, not everyone listening will know what you're talking about, dude. Well, Jimmy will. Jimmy kicked, ro- Jimmy kicked Liam's ass in a roast battle with like the dumbest no, joke no. ever. 
He yeah, humiliated was, me. <laughs> with I did a one some... word, one word, Mike. <laughs> It was like the shot that heard around the world. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was perfect. It was it's to this day. It's, it haunt, it's followed you, man. Ah, uh, no, dude. It just it came to me like uh, like you, it was, you, you eat a lot of them. Is that like one of your favorite foods or something? No, I just I I, I haven't have, been able to look at a box of gogurt ever since, Jimmy. <laughs> you can't just, just be going and doing things to people like that. I f- I had forgot all about Gogurts until you, I till I met you. I haven't heard it more <laughs> in my entire life than I have in the last year and a half. And uh, it's funny too because like that was the first show any of my like friends came out to see me. And uh, <laughs> dude, I and, love uh, roast battles. I yeah, kicked then, your uh, ass, Liam, one time. Yeah, you know I that was, was that was great. I never fucking embarrassed me. anyone. <laughs> More than I did you in a roast battle. That was great. Yeah, I, I, uh, they're they, they can be embarrassing, and don't get me wrong. I, I, I uh, seriously, they suck to lose, dude. They, they suck <laughs> to lose when someone calls you a gogurt, and then your your friends call you gogurt as like your nickname and shit. Like that, uh, that leaves like some pretty like severe emotional scarring. That a you manic really... depressive Jimmy Neutron. Yeah, yeah, that was that was oh, that's yeah. also a banger. That's really fucking. <laughs> That's, it's not as a catchy one. as a gogurt. I, I, two syllables can't beat that. It's no, it's, more, like, it's, it's one. Of, it's a perfect joke, if you will. As, as perfect does, as they come. It does fit. It does fit. It's a good description. Yeah, the, I, uh, the Jimmy Neutron. Um, I hate roast battles. Do Dude. you really? I love no. Them. I like. I, I like slash hate. You know. You're too nice. Yeah, that's what it is. Is that the problem? Uh, or- no. Well, I did. I uh, no. I just. I'd rather not think about like if one's coming up, then all of a sudden that's what I'm thinking about, and I'm like, I don't want. Yeah, fuck. you can't focus on your own shit. Yeah, yeah I thought it was good for when when Lou started those up for me, because like yeah. I was a few months in, and it was just like a great way to like practice writing jokes. Mm. Yeah, and I was like- wicked nervous, uh, but. My first one was against Ben, and that went really well. And oh yeah, oh, that was a lot of fun. And then um, yeah, I'm actually undefeated except against women. I've never beaten a a, a woman That's in so... a roast battle. Brianna's beaten me twice, and uh, Marae so beat me good. another time. But her uh, fucking fiance was on the panel, so it doesn't count. Uh, you uh, sound like you're over this. Yeah. Well, I I want vengeance. I want. I want Colony uh Connolly in the in in the roast battle ring. That's what I want. A ton of <laughs> local Worcester references have been made in the last I know. Okay. Well minute. you're right. You this ben is too Basanga. Local. That's Ben Basanga, great Worcester comedian. Yeah. Lou Hello. Lou Ramos, another Worcester Lou comedian. Lou Ramos. I think you said, you know, the Connollys, uh Maraid and, and Sean, also great Sean. Worcester comedians. Check out his new album Hot Dog on Spotify, you porn, you <laughs> Not gonna plug any of Jimmy's shit. <laughs> I don't have an album, so we're not there yet. Jimmy's got successful TikToks, man. That's way more valuable than yeah. How many jokes. followers do you have? It's 2021, man. Uh I I today I hit <laughs> like over sixty thousand. Oh dude. My boy. Put us on your TikTok. But do it, TikTok, Jimmy. asking him to do that. That's, he wants to keep those followers, bro. You can't just put out trash content. Listen, but the thing just... is, I, I think I have uh, the majority of my audience is, is younger. Right I wing. think a lot of kids see that I'm a janitor and they, they're like, oh, this is great. It's a, so like I had so I've been trying to walk the line of just being like kind of cleanish on my TikTok. Mm. Kind of, you know? Yeah. Like it works I, very well. I'm just for like what you're going for, I think. It, well, it just started off. With my daughter kept telling me to get it, blah, blah, blah. So I got it like last year and then I posted like one thing and I was like, I don't like this. And then more recently, I, I was like, it, I, I had gone back on and I saw, I kind of was like, all right, you can do your own thing on here. I thought you had to like dance every time you went on TikTok. I didn't realize. Like, <laughs> I don't know why that's like the go to move. Really good. You gotta, you gotta dance, but. 
Yeah, but I don't know. Yeah, there's I a glass thought TikTok one. You had to <laughs> dance, but basically it's just another fucking platform for bullshit. But you, you can add like stupid like little stickers and and music and shit. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. just easy. But the for thing everybody. about it, yeah, the thing about it that I think is, and I I don't know, like exactly, like for for factual information that this is 100 true, but it seems like the algorithm on that website like caters to discoverability better than like YouTube, for instance, where YouTube will like only show you stuff based on what you you've seen it seems or in and i don't know i can put something on tiktok and like 300 strangers will you know masturbate to it or something and no, you're right oh yeah right yeah i'm not just talking into my ass here jimmy you'd know better but like it's like it youtube 2.0 like, that's what i yeah think. yeah everything's on there now you got people that garden they cook they fix cars on there and then yeah oh. it's just you know I, it's not just your followers that are seeing your shit. Other, like if I post my shit to Instagram, most the only people are gonna see it is who follows me, or or who who they share it, or right? Like that, share. that yeah. And we're TikTok. You're it's mostly strangers, like in in, in my experience. Yeah. Very yeah. limited. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's why it is. It's better. It is better for like the likes. The likes are like. Um, you know, they, like they roll in. Yeah, they're like cocaine. It's like it's like they just roll in. You know what I mean? Like differently. You know, just hits yeah. different. Well, because it's constant, just like scrolling. Thirty second video, thirty second video. You could do like a lot. Well, yeah, but and yeah, you say, and, and you and get views more, like nothing. It's more encouraged to like post constantly. That's why, like now that yeah. I, now that. Now that I'm like doing it, I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to post as much as I can. Like on Instagram, you feel, I used to feel like I was being annoying if I post all the time. It used to be right, like, yeah. oh, almost like, like girls would post like maybe like one selfie every six months. You know what I mean? Remember that? On, on Instagram, it was like, it was almost cooler if you posted less on Instagram. Yeah, people like you don't want to know you're alive, feed. but they don't really care. Yeah, but TikTok yeah. is like you should post fucking four times a day. They eat it up. Yeah, it's it's um, yeah. I think you said it really well. It's like YouTube 2.0. It's great for discoverability yes. and reach and stuff. Uh, it's also I remember, I also think the quarantine really helped people like creatively minded people to to try and go out on a limb you know i brought up tiktok when we were still doing clubs and shit and like everyone around me said some very not nice things to me which isn't wasn't something that didn't not happen it happened all the time but they were particularly said tiktok was like the bottoming out of the human experience and uh i am ruining what, their what art they, form by what were they mean to you about what do you mean they said, are you, are you serious? You're going to use TikTok as a comedian? Have some goddamn self-respect. And <laughs> I was like, man, I don't, I don't know who you funny are. If some motherfucker, I, motherfucker, you look like a Gogurt, man. <laughs> I People are commenting that shit. <laughs> Gogurt looking ass. It was, it was at, it was at, it was, it was, it was at a cash mic at the, at the Wuha. So I, I, I know where this all went down. I remember the uh, silent observers who didn't do anything to help me um, or defend my honor. Yeah. Um, but yeah, now it's like the shit because we're all, you know, you know, it, it, it works because it, it seems like it works better. I, are you on there? TikTok? Yeah, I just started. I, I'm thinking like I'm posting like podcast clips mostly. I don't have like any footage of me doing stand up. Yeah. Really. yeah no. So like, I don't think that's I don't the have place any of that on yet. Anyways, they, no, you can. Yeah, you can post sure. stand up. Clip. There, you, you can do it now. But I want us to try to get a a stand up clip with a vertical shot though, because you know everyone films horizontal, because that's the cool, the right way to do it. But it's like TikTok. I don't. I feel like it's like it's back to vertical. Like I feel like those videos hit more if they're like in the yeah. tiktok format 
you see a vertical, a horizontal shot video on TikTok for some reason. To me personally, it's just like, oh, I don't know. Do those even exist? I haven't, I haven't seen anything like that. Now, Horizon, yeah. that's the um, the cor- which one is that? The horizontal is like the wide shot. Mm-hmm. You know, something you'd post on YouTube. The landscape. Like, <laughs> landscape, yeah. <laughs> The vertical is okay, okay. like the way you wouldn't want to shoot, but that's the way TikTok caters to, I feel like. So you're this saying, is- um, what if, uh, you know what's funny to me is uh, it's all, all, all that content is almost exclusively like shot on a phone, it seems. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Dude, low like, grade. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's like, it's like everyone's just accepting this punk rock aesthetic. I love it. Like, yeah. There's some I also people, think it's because. No, there's sorry. some wild shit on there. There's some like highly edited shit on TikTok, but the, the, the shitty green screen, like crappy videos do just as well, you know? Yeah. It doesn't seem like, it's interesting. It's, it's uh, yeah, it's closing the gap between, you know, what is needed to be successful, I guess. Well, I'm yeah, thinking of just. Is... This is someone why fucking talking. Zoom blows, dude. I know. Everybody's yeah, trying know. to fucking get in the riff. Someone, someone say something here, because this is a. Uh... It's the timing. The Zoom throws off everyone's timing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just... I uh, especially I think when uh, we're all just such uniquely funny people. Um. <laughs> trying to step on each other's sh- shoes all the time and shit it's hard it's uh it's a struggle but i'm happy to be here with both of you me too mostly yeah, I'm glad jimmy. you're here jimmy no it's good to be here too what have you guys been up to besides besides the podcast and and shit <laughs> you go, you go first. you know just chilling man just obviously more. well becoming a uh, a uh, jiu-jitsu master as of recently mm-hmm. um i don't know just going out not wearing a mask um mm. you know just calling people sheep you know the usual yeah i yep. actually went on a ride with a, a guy who's a uh you know he's just a guy but he's one of these anti-mask people and uh wow you know we were hanging Liam's out dad? Yeah, me and Liam's dad were hanging out. <laughs> and my dad is my dad. He he he's a smart guy. I don't know what to say. He's a smart guy. So no, he's this guy's a he's a good guy and everything, but you know he doesn't believe in the mass shit and he refuses to do it. So I knew he when we were going to a kebab place to like pick up some food, and uh, he was gonna go inside, and I'm like, so so dude, do, like when you do people ever like yell at you for? the mask shit and he just says i don't give a fuck <laughs> and i'm like well that's that, that doesn't answer the question uh, and he's like yeah you know they yell or whatever and so he walks in without a mask there's a bunch of people sitting around and they all like do double takes and then you know they cover up their it was just funny he was just standing at the counter and then he like start he turned around like started to talk to people and they were like oh, don't touch me <laughs> shit. i don't know i found it funny Wow. Yeah. yeah. No, but it was interesting. I, I fucking respected well, the shit like out of him. Well, that's like going into a bank, waving a gun around, dude. Just like, <laughs> yeah. Everybody down. Kevin, do that on TikTok. <laughs> do that what? Like, go, go pick up like uh, Middle Eastern food without a mask on. Jeez. Wait. The the funniest part about that to me is like you're like you didn't say you went with a friend or anything you just said i went with this guy uh, it was like too yeah, it's convoluted it's like my, it's my like girlfriend's a... friend's husband oh, okay. like so that we were hanging out and outing then he's like oh you want to come with me to pick up the food and like i didn't really know him that well i didn't want to be rude and decline so uh we went and uh we did that thing and we uh violated the protocols and some people got hurt and uh um, but it was there's a little bit of I, 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 it was interesting to get that perspective from somebody wow i've just i've heard um i haven't done much traveling uh, as of late but 
uh, I've, you know, I've heard it's kind of being handled very differently in various parts of this country. And I, that's why I love this place, you know? Yeah. It's great. Yeah. I don't know. I, uh, I, I wear a mask, you know, full body. <laughs> you just go in a green man suit. No, it's leather. Hey, dude, no. Have suit. you guys seen like fucking kids at the supermarket who are with their parents, like just in a Spider-Man outfit with like the Spider-Man mask on? No. They're just no. using this as an opportunity because of the mask mandate or whatever that for kids to dress up. And I've seen like Spider-Man and shit. There was like three boys. There's like a Spider-Man and a fucking Iron Man. And then... um is this and, in Brazil? And, and a guy with a Jeffrey Epstein mask. But <laughs> no, it was that was here in uh that was in Holden. Fever dream. Oh. <laughs> that's what it was some spoiled. Uh, okay. yeah, spoiled that's, brats. Yeah. They uh you know, but we have, well let's, you know, let's remember, right? These kids are having their uh the this time of their lives stolen from them for, uh, for just sort of some liberal hoax or something. I don't know. I don't really pay attention. Yeah, how to weird are these kids going to be? Like the dude, ones who are really developing the during this time, seeing porn at the age of six. Dude, I I can I'll talk about it. I'll talk about it. Okay. When I was in middle school, the iPod Touch and iPhones had started coming out. Uh, I saw some of my first porno, and it uh it, it definitely, definitely affected how I treated uh, step siblings. The step sibling thing didn't catch on. I feel like until like five years ago, though. Yeah, dude, I think I like I just got back on porn one day, guy. and I just got on it one day, and everything was incest porn. Just dude, like, you guys like overnight, dude. I got on the internet when like AOL was big, and my first website for porn was called debauchery dot com. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, well, <laughs> that's so classy. <laughs> it, it was just called debauchery.com and it would just you'd click like the the categories were the most innocent category it was like big big uns big uns was one <laughs> big, big uns biggins? like a big uns big uns big uns yeah big uns and uh i remember you would just like click on a category and then you'd click on a picture and it would upload onto the screen for like you know 10 minutes and it would just be like a picture of a girl with like just the pic, huh? Yeah. And there was no step steps. Step, 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 step yeah, that's new. a new thing. Yeah. Well, you get bored. Well, that's well when I first started, I yeah, I would I I didn't have, you know, a smartphone until I was like 22. Like when those came out for me. But like so I would just like watch porn on my parents like desktop computer. Yeah. I did and, that like, one time. and then and like i didn't know how to like <laughs> fucking hide the history and stuff like that so they don't they catch me every time well and uh <laughs> oh my God. But well, i kept doing brought. it man but and yeah you well so history. i was probably you know a little more advanced than jimmy's day because i would get very heavily pixelated uh one minute clips most of the stuff you had to pay for back then oh. online yeah I had a computer in my room. I had a desktop in my bedroom. Oh, man. Oh, it must have never it's left over. your room, dude. Well, my, my grandmother busted in once. Uh, what, <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of the night, I was on a debut.com wormhole. And uh, yeah. yeah, it was, a, it was it wasn't a good thing. Damn. Was, I've been caught by my mom like twice. <laughs> but I think I don't know what's worse, getting caught by my mom or like getting caught by my girlfriend. Like it's like midnight and I'm on the couch. I don't want to wake her up. And then she just <laughs> walks out to take a piss or something. She, but the last time she she just looks at me and shakes her head and, <laughs> and goes back to bed. It was uh, it felt terrible. I uh, so I finished oh. up and I and I went to bed. You know. Oh. Sad that's man. the worst you know what the worst part to me about that is is then you finish up you go to bed and then you have to pee a couple minutes later yeah Did that happened to you yeah it's oh, yeah. important to do that it's important to do that gotta clear the old prostate the renal system yeah, it's that's like, right it's like douching kind of my favorite system <laughs> oh my god personally 
Um, wow, I, I'm trying to think of like, I don't have like a cool story about getting caught masturbating. Uh, like you guys do. And I'm so trying you've to. Never been caught or like it just wasn't that cool? Uh, no, listen, man. I was, no one has I like a also... cool story. I got, I got, no like, oh. Oh, that was awesome. Like, yo, my dad walked in, he was like, sweet, bro. Yeah. yeah listen, I was laughing at both your guys' stories. They were very funny. I, I don't. I'm trying to think if I'm like repressing something or like, or how do you like, not get caught once? No, like they know I'm beating my dick, bro. It's like it's happening. You know that that's happening, right? You got to imagine. And I don't hide stuff. I say terrible things all the time, right? I just I'm pretty open. I feel like maybe I've just been caught so many times. Have you ever caught someone else? That's oh, way I, I worse. I caught my brother a few times. Weird kids. <laughs> it was terrible. I caught my friend's brother masturbating once. Oh, that's so fucking weird. Oh. Dude, and he tried to make it like a thing. Like he tried to like apologize to me, and I'm like, hey man. <laughs> I don't want to go to jail. So can we you just not ever bring this up again to anyone ever? Like it's like and uh he held like, it over just me. leave my bedroom. Yeah, he, he <laughs> held it over. He held it over me for like two years. I had to pay him. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That was uh I didn't that didn't have that happen, but um the fan the getting caught fantasy the getting caught fantasy used to be that a hot girl would just catch you and be like, Oh, don't finish. Yeah, let, yeah, let me help yeah, you. Yeah. Let me help you. <laughs> Couldn't be I've just seen that happen so many times. I in, in public libraries. So like <laughs> I thought that's what happened, but it, it's it's not. People that work at public libraries are not as free spirited as they are online. I'd say. No, yeah, they no. don't want to help no. you finish. They just want to like, are you going to vote here, or you're not here to read? You don't even know. You've never read a book, you piece of shit. That wasn't assigned to you in school. Dude, library, horny place. It's a horny, horny place. It's in the air. Yeah. Well, they have well, those, those, like, they used to have those computers where, like, if you didn't have a computer at home, you can, like, go on there and, like, rent minutes. Well, people porn. always worry about computers, but what happened to me one time, I was at the library, I was in, like, seventh grade, and Hustler. I just was, like, I was trying to, like, catch up on summer. Uh, I think I got forced to go there because I didn't, I had to, like, do my summer reading, but I just, I, I opened up a random book from the adult section and it was just like the page I opened up to was like a graphic breaking up hard dude get next to that window like novel it was like really like I think God it's pretty graphic can you hear me yeah so what I got from you you, you watched um, hentai you you picked up a um, or what's a what's the what's the print version of the anime porn? There's hentai. Dude, I'm not an anime dude. I know, but you, uh, I mean, I know I the mean, difference. That surprises it's in... me a great deal. Yeah. I'm just not. Everyone's an anime person. All of a sudden, there's like so you're supposed to know all this anime shit, and I just don't. Oh yeah, I don't. I can't. I can't keep up. I can't. I've I've never. I've I've watched a few cartoons in my life. Uh, I, can, I can say that, but uh, no, I'm not really, uh, I, and I, I don't know. I don't hate anime. I don't hate people that like anime. I just, it's, I don't think it's, yeah. it's for me, you know, I would really like to see, you know, like Charizard really giving it to Pikachu or something like that though. I've seen That'd it. That'd be help. just I like could, as educational. I could, I could, I could, I could help you with that. Um, Jimmy, I got another question for you. I'm just opening my notepad. Yeah. So, Look at that picture, man. Shoot. Yeah. Um. Okay, wow. so uh, who's your um? Okay, sorry. Who's your favorite murderer? Uh, it's funny you said that, and the first person that popped into my head, like instantly, mm -hmm. isn't technically even a murderer. I thought of Charles Manson right away, who technically such didn't a good answer. Just a Definitely. master manipulator. Yes. Yeah. Just yeah. Well, really charming guy. Other humans as your tools to murder people. That's pretty talented, right? His. 
He uh, was trained. Is what? Jimmy, I'm sorry. I, I was cutting you off again because I'm a piece of shit. Were you saying he was Please trained? Continue. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. By the CIA. You think they gave so? gave him LSD. Dude, I, I listened to a whole audio book on it. Paying attention actively like 60 to 70% of the time. Yeah. So remember earlier how Liam researched you know, read a book about having a personal trainer before getting a personal trainer. <laughs> That's why he researched using LSD for mind control. Ah. Um, so I, I, I think that's what we're alluding to here, Liam. Am I wrong? Connected, connected Wikipedia articles, almost. Um, okay. That's a well. Um, no, no, uh, Jimmy, I got a couple of Charles Manson facts for you. If you want to, just while we're on the topic. Uh, I don't know if you know him. I, can I go piss while you do this bit? You can piss anytime. Well, you, aren't you in a bathroom anyway? Just Yeah, you're right. I, I, I'm sitting on a toilet, dude. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> show it. Show it on camera. Help get us those views. Ooh. Controversy. Free of a lot. All right, I needed to do that. Thank I got you. some Charles Manson factoids for the gymster because it's his favorite um, character. Influence. Um, in, major influence. Uh, you ever listen to the Beach Boys, Jimmy? Yes. I'm a fan yes. of the Beach Boys. Um, can you hear me? I forget what, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I, can hear. I forget the name of the album, but Brian. Brian, Brian, what's his last name in the, the Beach Boys? Brian. Wilson. Oh, yeah. Wilson. Wilson. Thank you. Brian Wilson. And I think the summer of 1968 uh, was hanging out with Charles Manson, taking LSD, writing music. And one of the B sides on one of the albums is a song that Charles Manson wrote, but Brian Wilson didn't give him credit for because at that point their relationship had gotten a little weird. He thought these 30 homeless people that he would bring over to his nice rock star pad was. It was a little, it was getting weird. So he's even more talented than we originally thought. Yeah, yeah. What he, you're no, saying. The song's pretty good. The song's pretty good. Which I'll one? Find the name of it. I don't know off the top of my head. A quick Google search can show it. But... Uh, I'll, I'm on it. All right, yeah. You, you track that down because I can just keep telling the story. Uh, but uh, yeah, so Charles Manson already had the authority. But uh, that really helped rally because, uh, oh, sorry, because they released the song. The Beach Boys released the song as a B-side and did not credit Manson. So he got very upset. And, um, you know, well, you know how, how, it, how it went down. Uh, but Brian Wilson was investigated for a series of months after the uh, killings as yep. a person of interest because of his connection with Charles Manson. That's right. The name of the and song I, is, oh, sorry to interrupt, but the name of the song is Never Learn Not to Love. Uh, see? Yeah. It's um, like if Hitler going to art school. I have a little Manson uh, thing that I, I could share with you. Awesome. This is, this is what the show's about, man. Well, you know Thanks. where they, you, re, you remember, I'm sure you sound like you, you're, you're, you know your mans and stuff. If you remember, they were hiding out at Spawn Ranch in California. Oh yeah. Him and the, him and the oh, family. Yeah. Well, yep. I went. I went to Spawn Ranch and I went down into the woods, into the where they took an iconic picture in the little cave called the Wave Cave. There's a picture Whoa. of the family there, and I did, I have a picture I can send it to you of me inside the the Wave Cave where the where they used to go creepy crawling. Oh my god, that that's yeah. really cool. That's that's yeah. a lot cooler than some stupid pointless bullshit that has no real relation to me. I'm trash. No, it's no, it's wild, dude. Yeah. That is that's cool, man. That is cool as shit. What was did you did you uh did you feel any urges while you were there? Yeah, uh, no, I I was a little. I felt a little like honestly a little creeped out because I did see a couple Manson when you. Obviously, it's like a not obviously, but I think it's a almost like a a mecca or a, you know, it's a place where Manson freaks yeah, visit. So yeah. I saw a couple like family oh. type people like hanging out, yeah. and that freaked me out a little bit. They're all tripping. You know? 
Yeah, the, yeah they're the like, yo, what if he was right, man? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Imagine tricking him. in a cave and things are going to work oh out. Oh, my God. It makes sense. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I think that was a great answer, Jimmy. And I think that might be uh, what I ask uh, guests from now on uh, at some point during the show. The, their favorite murderer? Yeah, it could be fictitious. What about know? favorite no. murderer? Like, get more specific. Like yeah, everybody, yeah, yeah, sure. You know, you, you know, John, We're you know, sad. BTK, who's We're, my favorite murderer, but like, yeah. which one? Very is the best. What was the masterpiece? Um, there was a do- listen. I, I like the one where he's like jerked off on the bodies after. Yeah, a lot of them have done that. Uh, a lot of them done. That's not even he. I don't you know, think he even raped. He would just, you know, um, he did a little class. He killed a whole family in one go. Over the course of 30 years, though, he only killed like 10 people. So I'm just going to talk as much shit as I can. Guy was a big... Well, he flew under the radar. Yeah, that's why I respect him. Yeah. I, do we talk about this already? I know I told you. No, it was, it, was, it was a few episodes back. You asked me the same question. Yeah, I'm not going to do it, though. But um, I think I was confusing him with Dahmer anyway, or BTK. One of them got caught because they asked the FBI if the FBI could track a floppy disk. And all these people want is attention. And the FBI was like, no, we couldn't track a floppy disk if you sent us. Of course not. And they certainly could. And uh, yeah. they they tracked it back. I believe it was BTK, but it could have been Dahmer. I was one of the other. Dahmer died in prison being to death by some guy. Uh, you know, heroes, right? Not heroes. Hey, but... Not yes, to change the subject, but who did those making a murderer guys? Yeah, it was read... BTK. Just Googled it. Sorry. Oh. It was BTK. Yeah, we want, we want to get the facts right. So he had yeah. the floppy disk. Okay. Floppy dick. No, I, was, <laughs> I just people. Remember- all, it's funny on Google it says people also ask, can a floppy disk be traced? So <laughs> people aren't learning the lesson. Sorry, go ahead, Jimmy. <laughs> no, I just remembered like the making a murderer guys. I don't even remember who they killed or what they did. I didn't make it to the end of that. To be honest, I I watched it. Um, I have a really weird like the whole, it's kind of like a joke. Obviously, it's like a true crime podcast because I like think true crime is such a weird like obsession. Uh, I don't want to disrespect people that make a living off of other people getting murdered, but like it's it's a little weird that you can like a tragedy can happen and can and could be like the worst thing that's ever happened to a family or someone's loved one. And someone's like, but I get ad revenue talking about it slowly with piano. Yeah. And, well, you um, know, the, the Epstein thing, the Epstein true crime one, like everybody, mm-hmm. a lot of people you talk to and you would talk about the Epstein conspiracy, they'd be like, no, but then they see the documentary and they're like, holy shit. Fucking Hillary did it. When- Hillary. Well, but it's so it Listen, just goes just, to I show it's, you know it's no like one believed in the conspiracy till netflix put a nice little easy to digest true crime doc together and now everyone believes there's a conspiracy i think easily digestible is a little too nice it's, it goes a little it's a little, little there were bumpy parts sure yeah little jimmy yeah epstein thoughts um I think uh, it's a complicated issue. I know. Yeah. Well, Epstein, so divided. What comes to mind is uh, is what is it? Jis Lane or Galane? Is that his wife? Yeah, Jis Lane, the the girlfriend. Uh, I think she. I don't think they were actually like married, but she pimped for him. I think was the. They're hot. They were horrible people, but is she weirdly hot in a weird older lady? Oh, oh, well, not Dude. weird at all, Jimmy. Very hot. Oh. Oh, power. Right. It's the power, the attention. Yeah. The media. That's all I wanted to. That's the fact uh, that when I, that's your take on it. When I think Epstein, hot my girlfriend, first is hot wife. He had a hot yeah. wife, and he <laughs> and he still wasn't happy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Dude, isn't awful having like friends with like a wicked hot wife? Yes. He's a no. terrible Tell person. It. No, it's fine. Well, I mean, you can always you can always lose a friend. Yeah, you know. It's always 
it's no, it's worse when they're rich and powerful and hot too. Then that's those friends are just you have powerful friends. Is that what you're saying? No, but if I was friends with Epstein, I'd have a it would have been tough. There's photographic evidence of you two hanging out together. <laughs> oh, yeah, you yeah, did. we were thinking about using that as the thumbnail. Oh Dude, my Mace, god, thank you for doing that horrendous show with me. And we, and, we, uh, we got he's like, it. which one? Yeah, we, I mean, yeah, it was like dragging balls over glass for me, but you know, I, I, I'm, I'm happy. Uh, I appreciated you doing that. It was a quarantine live show I did in my school. Um, they loved you, Jimmy. I'll be honest. Yeah. Uh, Kevin and I did a show there, and they hated us then. Well, because um, we were we were roasting, we were roasting the president <laughs> of the school <laughs> in front of like 200 people. It was awesome, and we wow. were and the, less than a year into comedy. <laughs> very, wow. very terrible call on their part. Uh, honestly um but then they came with us and let me do another show yeah that's uh, crazy and that was that was that was insane to me that i was like whoa holy shit really after calling the president of our campus ellen degenerative disease i called her and, a nazi too yeah kevin straight up called her and it was it was oh, she looked yeah. she looked <laughs> it was I, no I, joke I like a nazi degree, bitch but, she looks like, uh, yeah, cool. she, she looks like she could have been an extra in Inglorious Bastards. You know, with, no, you know, the joke was you look, when I first heard your name, you sounded like you could be a Disney villain. But now that I see you in person, you seem like more like a uh, World War II villain. So oh, it's, it, no, it's subjective, it though. It, it's subjective because, like, you know, who who's the bad guys to you? Is it, you know... Winston Churchill is it Hitler we don't really know so it's really when people to say comedy is subjective you know that's a great example that's what they're referring yeah, to is. Is it, it's, yeah. anyone can relate to that regardless of what side you're on right Still? yeah you're in yeah. every every man's comic yeah that's true you could yeah that's a good way of putting it <laughs> yeah Jesus There's wow. layers to that I um <laughs> World War II villain but Jimmy, yeah, uh, uh, thanks again for uh, doing that. That was very cool. Um, and Dude, that's, yeah. They, uh, I have um, a couple uh, students that uh, really have crushes on you now. Come and, on. Uh, Jimmy. Yeah, you're I, a handsome dude. If I'm lying, I'm dying. I've had six or Jeez. seven DMs. DMs, Jimmy. Asking wow. for your phone number asking for photos what shows do i do that you're on where can you be found what TikTok. school do you work at they 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 love it they love it they dude love well it's the tiktok celebrity no one gets more pussy no than those this guys. was before man this was before jimmy had the cloud of a well, imagine the pussy potential now oh yeah it's it's it's, oh it's, my God. it's unimaginable it's like um an abyss <laughs> well jimmy has a family uh, so you know yeah no i mean I'm, we're not uh, obviously we're we're just talking right. about how, we're just talking about how cool he is kevin that's all we're doing like and, potentially uh, if he wanted to he could dive into a sea of clams he's not a monster like you kevin well you know, know. He doesn't do you suck first of all clams listen i'm not a monster i still i still Still, only what look at debauchery.com. <laughs> you stay true. You're you're a hipster. You, you have to yeah. throw it back. I'm amazed that they're still operational. Yeah, you know, Pornhub took down 10 million of their 12 million videos, and all the ones I liked apparently are gone. And that makes me feel bad because they took down those videos because apparently there wasn't full consent all the time with all the women. And now I feel like I've watched terrible things on camera and jerked off to it for years and now i just have that in the back of my head and i'll never know and they're never going to disclose so i don't know how bad of a person i am oh you don't have to know <laughs> you know just go with you know you know but you know boys will be boys and you know the video is what it is maybe it's real maybe maybe it's not maybe she's 18 maybe don't say that to me maybe Maybe you uh, you have some reflecting to do. Um, Clearly, you know it's whatever. We all look at weird stuff. 
We go no, to I, don't, places. I only look at big ends. What is a, a, a big, like a big end, like the whole Bro, person, the whole apparatus is a big end. Oh, it's just the, the, I think it's just the chest is what they're referring to. It's the titties. Okay. Big, uh, really? I would have thought like no badge, big badge. Yeah, I would have thought big. No, that's too dirty for debauchery.com. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you I forgot. Yeah, you, need, yeah. you need to own a monocle to, to be like given <laughs> access to the website. <laughs> um, my phone's about to die. Um, so you want to wrap this up? As unprofessional as it gets. Wow. No, we didn't go, we're not, we're. Dude, it's like I, I, my family must might have be worried about me right now. It's getting dark at the school. That's fine. It, we, you, you don't have to pretend, Jimmy. We, we know this is your situation. You might be staying a night at the school tonight. We don't know. Gonna go hit the slopes um, with Bob Marley, Robert Marley. Yeah, Bob sure. Marley, do some gaggers. Uh, are you are you doing any other shows, Jimmy? I am back in action. It's been a it's been a little bit, but I'm back this coming up weekend in Connecticut. Oh. Uh, at a brewery on Saturday, unless COVID does something, and then uh, Comics Mohegan Sun on Sunday. Ooh. So, there's a mystery for the first uh, one there, but the second one's Mohegan Sun. Yeah. So they go to like every possible room, you know. And do you have any, do you, do you do a podcast? Do you uh, get something you want to promote there? I used to do one with Paul Cyphers. I think it's canceled. I don't know. I haven't oh. heard. He, he he runs it. He's uh he was that's the a admin. disaster. He was the admin, so I uh I don't know if we're canceled or I'm fired, but. I, I I'm I've got something brewing. I'm gonna have one. I might do my own solo one soon. So we'll there you see. go. Stream Man, of conscious. Yeah, you can pull that off. I was gonna I was gonna yeah. You could pull that off. You could pull that off. You got Maybe, uh, you know? off off got, the air, um, Liam. When you were you getting the, back on, I I offered him the third chair, and he uh he it was a hard no. <laughs> him. Of course it was. Have you seen no, his TikToks? I, There's no way. I would love. No, I love you guys. I would love to be back and, and talk with you guys. This is you guys are great. Well, you're welcome anytime. Jimmy, you're like nice. I said, when I first met deserve- you guys, didn't think you guys were that great, but you were nice, and that was all that That's matters. Good. I get weird, like social Nothing anxiety, like most people in stand up. So, like. Someone who's like really outgoing, like Jimmy, that says hi first. That that's that's huge to me. Yeah, as you Goes can tell. Well, probably. you got to be careful when you're in stand up. You don't know who. Everyone to me that comes in the door has school shooter potential. Mm. So Easy. I like to I like to befriend everybody before. That's I'm a good attacking. strategy. Yeah. Yeah. That's very funny, Jimmy. That's, <laughs> I, I, that's a very <laughs> funny of you. I don't know. I just yeah. I just had that's that's a that's a really good way of looking at it. I feel one time yeah. at one of your your mics, the Wuha. I don't. I hope it's still a club when this is all over. But I also know that everything's gone now. So, um, there was a guy who wore a trench coat, <laughs> and I was Fuck. so no. It was Jimmy? You you remember this, right, Kevin? I, of I'm course. assuming you were also there. I don't I'll think never so, forget man. This. I'll it was never scary. forget this. Jimmy, it was the whole set. The whole set, whenever he would raise one of his arms up fast, I thought he was <laughs> like just going to start unloading. This is why we need crowd. good guys with guns. I oh, think he, he had a fedora. Right. I believe he had a fedora <laughs> as well. You're right. You're right. He came He, he came by like two or three times. And Scoping the first time, I was already scared of him the first time because he was laughing uncontrollably at everybody. Yeah. That was a sign. It's a red flag. It's a red flag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and uh and then he said he was gonna come back and do stand up. And I was like, I hope he never comes back because he's gonna when he does come back, he's going to just start shooting us and laughing while he does you <laughs> the know? same laugh. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't did. remember. Sorry. No, he came I don't back. Remember. You're right. Yeah, he did. He fucking did. I remember that. 
I don't remember his name. I'm assuming one day we all will, but uh <laughs> oh he'll be famous one yeah, day, yeah yeah probably the most we I might mean, get well, to yeah. talk about his true crime doc on the show oh if he's oh talented God, enough that's content dude you guys will we, will be dead we gotta find yeah. this guy and push him over the no, edge no when i i uh i usually i'll be honest with you the last few times i was at your mic jimmy i would try and go up really early before him because i know he's not doing it before he goes on these people love attention so I, I was trying to get on before him and then I could tell everyone later, I was like, oh, I was at a club that got shot up and if everyone else died, no one would know that I wasn't there when it was going on. And I would just- It's a good way to thin out a scene though, to like get, mm. you know, then some spots open up. Smarter ways to do it though. Less dramatic. Mm, no one, not, not as efficient. If you shoot up a comedy club when there's like three of them in a city, uh, it's hard to- it's a 33% chance is just what I'm saying. I've got, you know, 33.33 repeating with the line on top. Yeah, chance. that's just a th- one third more spots for us, baby. Well, hopefully it comes back. Yeah, yeah. I, I think well, it will. that's the other thing. Like, we're just assuming it will. We didn't even talk the way it was. I can't believe. I'm, yeah. Well, we should do it for another episode because uh, yeah. my work is going to give it to me. Are they gonna give it to you because you work in a school? Give me what? The vaccine. Oh, uh, in February, I think. Oh no, shit. Yeah. yeah, I think they're gonna make me take it to the Moderna. Oh, the yeah. Moderna. Yeah. The 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 one that starts with a P. Pfizer. Uh, Pfizer. Yeah. See, it does, it's not it's not a real word. That's why I don't remember. Like, it uh. Uh, I think like 29 people that got it died in Europe, like over the weekend or something. And I was like, yes, it's not over. Out of how many? See, I didn't say that. It was a headline. Maybe they all died in unrelated. Uh, well, they? I know some. I know somebody that caught Corona in between vaccination. Like you're supposed to get two oh, shots. Man. Yeah. So, yeah. So, what happens if you get it between the shots? That's Does what that, like, happens. Ruin it? To somebody I know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't man. know. Well, what a bummer. Hopefully the vaccine <laughs> Hopefully, uh, uh, they're okay, dude. brings things back so people like, yep. uh, you know, we, we can go back to something. It's, we're gonna, it's never going to be normal. We're going to know half this country hates the other half, um, like for real this time now. And, uh, and it's going to be, it's probably just going to keep getting worse until we, uh, you know, pe- more people die or someone attacks us or we make it look like someone attacks us so we just need to get into some wars and everything will be fine we'll move on yeah obviously so yeah. long as you can we just we only really function well when we're by when we're creating weapons and selling them sometimes to two different sides of a war in foreign countries <laughs> um, this is a boss move though all right i feel like I'm, you know, that was I, a good I way. Too much, so. I know. I think that was a good closer. Um, but yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go get some seltzer at Target for the family. And uh, oh yeah, good, good chat with you guys. Seltzer gang, thanks for coming. This has been Liam already dropped out the tenth episode special. Uh, thank you, Jimmy. Love you. Thank you. Love you, bro. Uh,